hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video as you can see we are going to perform a simulation of a suspension system to decide what stiffness your spring should have to correct motion or rebound or jounce of your suspension right so overall we are going to deep digging into the uh, suspension geometry and how to create the blocks, how to make an assembly, how to apply the suspension or damper on the AM. So that portion we are going to see in this video. So let's go. As you can see, I have built some model. Uh, I have already uploaded a video on a sketch blocks, how to create a sketch blocks. So you can prefer that video from my playlist and you can create uh, blocks like this so i have created four blocks basically i am not going into much uh, technical things like your ic rc and uh, cg how rule center will affect so that things i am not looking into this uh, matter so i am just uh, giving an basic overview how to perform the simulation with the suspension and uh, suspension or a damper right the spring or damper now as you can see i have created one model over here and it is moving right so whenever you are uh, assembling your blocks in a part so it will not move i will give you an example like i am doing in a part and i am inserting one block here as i have created so go to blocks i will add the body yes so this is my body and i will create another block insert another block let's say which one right so what happens in this one whenever you are going to assemble in it and you are exist existing this sketch so you are not able to move this geometry and you are not able to perform the motion study on it so there is no way to uh, simulate that right so for that we have to create one assembly we have to go to the assembly and you must select create layout option so when you click the option something like a yellow outline plane will come and here you have to add your sketch blocks which you have created right i will add one by one like my body okay and yeah my tires yes and also my wishbone okay so you are wondering why i have created this point this point is created for mounting your suspension right wherever wherever you are uh, mounting your uh, suspension you can create one point and mount over there i have three basic i copy this because we have two wish bonds and yes we have to measure this this is a 249.75 so i have to create that uh, two mounting points over here I have not created intentionally just to explain you guys right I will dimension it okay 249.75 okay then I will exit the block and I will start mounting this I will first fix this guy not to roam, roam around here I will fix this and now i will start assembling okay you go here and you go here okay. now i will assemble this over and yeah this is easy as you can see i have assembled i have perfectly assembled my arms with my knuckle these are my knuckle points or you can say upright and this is my whole tire so I have highlighted only the upright points over here and one suspension mount, mount over here. Now, if you want to check 
whether your sketch is moving or not so what you can do you can just exit the layout and you can move like this yes it's working even if you insert direct blocks it will not work for that you have to create uh, your uh, mode cre create layout should be on right so that is what the important thing here now we are done here now you can create one motion study and if you have a motion add-on you can uh, click on that and tap it on now you have to go to motion analysis yes also you can go for a basic motion as well there is no issue but motion analysis have a more features than that so we are going for that now between this point and this point i am creating a virtual spring whatever stiffness you are having whatever the damper ratio damping ratio you are having whatever data you are having you can put out there and then you uh, you must run your simulation let's say i am adding one spring over here so spring parameter is one and two as you can see my spring has been created but not very accurate so from this data you can add your stiffness which is uh, denoted as a k or the spring constant right so my spring constant will be around 25 i am just assuming for now i am just giving a rough data to uh, to just uh, simulate this uh, entire thing right i am not uh, looking for very accurate results okay now I click it OK. As you can see, my simulation has been automatically set up to 5 seconds. OK, that's fine. Now, yes. So my spring has been selected. My this portion has been uh, fixed. As you can see, you cannot move, move that guy. Now you have, what you have to do? either you can give a displacement either you can uh, or you can give a force so i will prefer force for now you can give a displacement of this tire whatever point you have to select and you can just give the displacement whatever you want right i will give just a force downward side and i will select the direction on the upward side so i'll flip okay and also you can select the force function i will add on a 500 newton and you can give the action or reaction you can also uh, go to variable harmonic and segment data point is very accurate by the way if you if you know how to uh, operate that and you will have benefit of that i applied the forces as well you can just see at what time at what what time it will act so if this is my force one this is my linear spring has been settled up now you can run the simulation and hit go to just okay oh it's very weird actually i will click okay you can just go to like this I think my force value is very huge for this system. I will reduce the force, let's say around 50 Newton. And then I will, okay, so maybe my stiffness value is very less, I think. My force value should be to the entire, okay. So I will go to the linear, my spring at 250, Newton per mm. Also, this is for display only. You can display your spring here. Let's say I will give a hundred, then it will show like this. Okay, so this is just for a display purpose. And if you have a damper in it, so you can combine your spring and damper together, which is very good option over here. Hit OK. And then I will run the simulation. Ah, as you can see, I increase the spring constant and it will 
reflect the results over here. See? So, even if you don't have the, uh, like if you have the uh, 3D parts, so you can assemble like this and you can apply these springs and you can check whether your part is fairing or not just by uh, clicking on it. So, I will cover that thing in a next video how to use a simulation setup in a motion study. So, you can predict if your part is failing or not due to the spring force or your stiffness is uh, correct or not. So, that, those things uh, we will run, learn in the future. This is for your kind reference that your stiffness, how much stiffness, how much reaction force you can calculate. So, you can ju just go to the plots and you can select whatever you want like a reaction forces, momentum, energy, power, acceleration, everything you want, you can just go to, like if I want to check a linear displacement and I just want to overall, I just want to calculate the overall magnitude, you can just go to any of this, you can select any points over here or any edge, right? So let's say I'm selecting this edge and I will click it OK. Now, as you can see, my graph has been created throughout the time. And whenever you click the, click the graph, let's say I'm clicking this graph, so it will show my moment where, where my tire is, right? So this is how it will help you to understand whether my stiffness value is correct, how much reaction force I will get by this uh, stiffness or by deciding the also, you can add your damper for more accurate results. So, if you add damper, what effects it is going to have. Also, you can do a frequency simulation. You can transport this result to the proper FEA and ch check if your part is uh, failing or not, Your what, whatever the stress value is. So, this is how you can do a basic uh, simulation for the better understanding. So this is all for the video and in the next video we are going to cover up this uh, simulation setup and till then you can support us by liking, sharing and commenting. Whatever you need you can just com comment down here and we will bring up the video. right? And thank you so much for your support. Keep learning, keep sharing.